Hi friends, it's Robert here uh, reporting from Field BC at 3 o'clock in the morning, Friday, August 4th, is it the 5th? Not even sure, no it's actually Saturday morning now. Strange location, strange time for me to be filming a YouTube video, but uh, I thought it incumbent upon me to express my gratitude and thanks and hopefully collectively with others to our pastors at Southside Victory Church for taking the time and consideration for inoculating each of us this summer with the Psalm 911 shots and a little bit of a testimony that I wanted to share here with you is the uh, as I'm here in Field BC I'm going to be waiting here now for the next they say four hours minimum to a road closure further up ahead uh, from here about 15 kilometers from here as there was a uh, massive collision uh, I understand there was at least one fatality there's uh, three vehicles that were involved a truck that was uh, carrying a trailer uh, one witness noticed the, the truck was so demolished that it looked like it had been burned when it was just simply a collision. I say this to say, I think I've come to a, a discovery of the true ultimate purpose of receiving Psalm 911 protection. And earlier this week, five days ago, I was coming back from the shoe swap. And while I was there, or sorry, when I was leaving, I had, uh, I was on my way home, I was past Revelstoke, and I was, uh, having left Revelstoke, I was on the highway heading back to, uh, back through the Rockies, back up to Alberta, when I encountered a woman on the side of the road, a young woman, and she had uh, a front left tire that was gone and her vehicle was lopsided over like a three-legged table uh, that was kind of half on the ground half you know, with its butt in the air and no one was stopped so I, I had to go over there and, and check out what was going on and so as I got there this woman this young lady she was on the other side of the street other side of the highway I should say in the middle of the bush and uh, she's scrummaging up and down looking for her tire and says so she was distraught I could tell and so first things first I offered uh, because she had been there as I discovered for some time I think she had been there at least an hour looking for her tire so when I got there I said uh, first off I can I are, are she was it was 35 degrees 36 degrees at the time so I'd offered she was uh, cooking so I'd offered her some water she sat in my vehicle and we traded off and I said, let me go look for your tire. So I just said, so where, where, where did the tire start rolling? She says, well, right from where my vehicle is, that's pretty much the vehicle stopped very quickly. So she had searched from there up to a certain stretch. And I said, now, how far did you go? She says, I went to this far. And I said, perfect. And I says, you go relax, go, go uh, cool off in the air conditioning. Let me take over and I'll go look for the tire. She had been looking for an hour. I went and found it in probably 35 seconds I'm exaggerating maybe, well, maybe a minute um, I found it very quickly and she was just stunned uh, and she says well how'd you find it so fast and it was just kind of a Holy Spirit directed thing it was like well obviously if she's been going this path for a whole hour it's not in that path the wheel when it broke off kept rolling went a little bit further and so I just went up a little bit further and I found the wheel so I, I rolled it back and uh, interestingly she's contacted her dad and trying to get a hold of her dad I asked her, I said, what had happened? You know, maybe some liability with the shop that had put the tire on. And as it turns out, no, it was actually her father's a mechanic, and he's the one who put the tire on. Did the, the nuts real quick. Says, yeah, it's, it's good to go. Don't worry about it. Sends his daughter off like this. Um, anyways, I was grateful to be able to be there. She was like, you know, go, go, go. And I says, I'm not going until your tow truck gets here. It's cooking out here. And if you were my daughter, I'd want you to be safe, and I'd want to know that you, someone was looking after you, and you were getting water and cool and and uh in, in a peaceful situation so i'm staying here as long as it takes for your tow truck to get here so she was grateful we got to talking and as it turned out um 
as in the same situation here, I've been praying since this collision has happened. Um, apparently the, the husband in the situation here was coughing up blood. Uh, the first responders who were on the scene, they were trying, uh, trying to save her desperately. When she passed away, they were all upset. Throwing things and whatnot. I guess that's the nature of a first responder. They want to they wanna get the win. They want to save a life. I say that to say, I've had twice in five days, two situations that potentially could have been me. But beyond just my life being spared, Psalm 91, 91 is for us to not only be spared, but us to recognize what's going on in the world so that we can be of help, be of service, be a, a, a pair of hands or feet to meet some need or just to pray. And so again, thank you to the pastors of Southside Victory Church for giving us Psalm 911 support, strengthening, and faith.